Hello, my beautiful friends. Hello. Welcome to another episode of New World Anarchy. It is uh, Wednesday. It is Wednesday, May 6th, 2020. Wow. Oh my God. There's so much, so much transpiring. I have no idea where to begin. Uh, I'll keep the video as short as I can and as sweet as I can. Uh, but uh, first and foremost, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are uh, happy and healthy in these trying times of ours. Certainly trying times. Well, April, April. Yeah, April was a completely hectic month. It was devastating month for job losses, for the economy. It was, April was the worst, the worst month in uh, US in United States history uh, for job losses. We shed, uh, the economy in, in the US shed over 20 million, 20.2 million job losses in the month of April, which is more than twice, which is more than double the amount of uh, the Great Recession back in 08, 09 combined throughout its tenure, which was about what, like a year and a half around there. Um, in just the month of April, double, more than double the, the complete uh, show of uh, the Great Recession back in 08, 09. And it's, we've already exceeded uh, the Great Depression, which was about 10, 10 to 12 years. We have more job losses in April last month than we had in the Great Depression and the culmination of the Great Depression. Yeah. Uh, job losses saw, it was the heaviest hit sectors were a service and hospitality jobs, of course, because I mean, 70% of our GDP in this country is service and hospitality. That is consumerism. That's what we are. We're consumers, right? We eat, we drink alcohol, we drink, and we eat more. So we, we saw, as Trump says, tremendous, we saw a tremendous decline in the service and hospitality sector, over 8 million job losses. And uh, folks, let me, let me uh, just remind you guys that we have, so just the month of April, over 20 million, but that's the ones that were filed and reported, okay? There's millions more that never made it to the, white, uh, the websites. Millions, millions of more job losses that were never able to make to the, to the, uh, the applications because the websites were crashing. It was just the overload, it was overwhelming. People couldn't uh, submit their applications in time. It was just, the websites were crashing left and right. So over 20 million, 20.2 million just in April. The, the heaviest hit sector was service and hospitality, bars, restaurants, you name it. Over 8 million job losses just in bars and restaurants, okay? Um, besides that, we have uh, manufacturing. Over a million, over one and a half million job losses only in manufacturing. Uh, but I mean, we don't really manufacture anything in this country anyways. It's, uh, it's all shipped out to China and uh, Asia. China manufactures like 70%, that's their GDP. Um, besides that, three point, almost three and a half million job losses were for uh, trade, transportation, and utilities. So we shed three and a half million jobs just in April for trade, transportation, and, and, and utilities. And those jobs are very, uh, very significant. That's what, uh, that's what all, all, of the, all of the commerce is in this country. Um, and we shed a lot of jobs there. So it just goes to show that um, this economy is not crumbling, it's not uh, falling, it's not declining, it's dead. We don't have an economy, okay? You know what we have? We have a system of banking that is ruling and governing and owning and buying everything. We have the Federal Reserve. That's what this, that's what this entire economy is. There's no economy, there's just the Federal Reserve. Their balance sheet continues to go skyrocket to the moon, to Mars, to Jupiter, to Uranus, you name it. It's going everywhere. Their balance sheet, they're buying, they're buying literally every single thing you can think of. They're buying it, corporate bonds. They're buying debt. And speaking of debt, this um, this economy for the past decades, okay, for the past three, four, five decades at least, 
this economy has been standing on one thing. One thing. Debt. This is a debt-sustaining economy. That's all we have. We have debt. We don't have money. They say, uh, what is the motto of this, uh, this land? Um, in God we trust? <laughs> no. In debt we trust. Debt is all we have. Without debt, this system, this economy, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know what happened if, it, if, if the debt bubble popped right now, okay? We have $25 trillion in national debt. $25 trillion. You know how much a trillion is? It's 12 zeros. 12 zeros, okay? $25 trillion U.S. national debt. Over $1.6 trillion student loan debt. Okay. The, the complete total US debt is 77 trillion. 77 trillion dollars total United States debt. We have more debt than any two countries or possibly three con three other countries in the world combined. Yeah, that's how much debt we have. We don't have money. The, the paper bills in your pocket, those Washingtons, those Franklins, those uh, Hamiltons, those Jacksons, those, yeah, they're, they're worthless. I mean, yeah, you can buy something with it, but once, once this dead, once the dead bubble pops, it's, it's all it's this giant bubble. It's the giant encompassing world global bubble, okay? Everything is inside this bubble and it's debt. That is sustaining everything okay this large global cataclysmic shape-shifting mm, beyond words beyond sentences debt is it's controlling sustaining and it is moving the entire economy okay because the only thing that keeps growing is debt and the the u.s treasury is borrowing three trillion dollars more in debt for more coronavirus uh, financial uh, relief aid to businesses. <laughs> you know what they're actually gonna do with that? They're gonna take that and they're gonna give it to their criminal friends at Wall Street. Their criminal friends at Wall Street is going to get at least 2.8 trillion of that minimum. So we don't have money, okay? Every time you get money, every time uh, you uh, get a, a check, unemployment check, benefit check, stimulus check, it doesn't matter what check you receive from the government. It is not stimulus, it is not money, it is debt. It is owed back with interest to the Federal Reserve. Yeah, that's all it is, okay? So just, I want you guys to be aware of this because the government, the treasury, Congress, the Senate, they have, they have no money. No, 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 no. They're borrowing. You know what borrowing is? Lending. I mean, uh, they're borrowing, sorry. Which is debt. When you borrow, what does that mean? You borrow because you don't have, and then you're owed to that. You owe the money to the Federal Reserve. That's what it is. And the more the Federal Reserve is able to lend, the more it's able to give out its only, its sole product, which is debt, the more powerful it becomes. That's all it is. It's all about power. It's all about owning. They are literally owning everything. Okay? They're owning counties. They're owning municipals. They're owning states, cities, countries. It's... It's beyond comprehension. It's beyond what you can fathom. It's so, it is so completely and soaked in debt. Every single thing. It's being bought. It's being owned in a, in a scale that will make even, even the richest of the rich their their heads will spin they can they can't comprehend how much money 
is being is is being delivered is being it's not even being printed anymore because it's all digits on a screen you you type you type the digits in it completely eliminates the purpose of printing it's all about the stock market today what happened the dow jones it dropped it declined uh 200 and like 240 points around there and all they do is they put they put the amount that they want to buy for the stocks on the screen they type digits in and then boom they got the money that's it they they, they, they bought the stocks the stock market the stock market is dependent <coughs> excuse me the stock market is highly dependent on the federal reserve without the federal reserve if the federal reserve didn't, didn't, didn't exist right now the stock market wouldn't, wouldn't exist right now the only reason the stock market exists is because of the federal reserve they're buying every single stock debt bond you name it they're buying they're they've bought they've already bought they own the stock market Okay, they own the Dow Jones, they own the NASDAQ, they own the entire stock market. They bought it all. They have all, they own all the stocks, they own all the airlines, they own all the hotels, they own all the casinos, they own, they own all the banks, they're owning the restaurants, they're owning all of the lands. <laughs> There's nothing left. They've owned everything. They've taken everything. That's why their balance sheet continues and continues to grow significantly day by day more and more every single day there's nothing left that's exactly why you're in lockdown right now uh, coronavirus no there's no virus you're on lockdown right now because they're buying everything okay they're they're leaving you nothing they're, they're not even leaving you crumbs okay they're taking the entire uh, extra large pizza and they're eating every single slice and maybe you'll get the box, the empty box, if you're lucky. If you're willfully obedient and you sit and you sit down at your home and you do everything you're told, like the good slave you are. You do that, yeah, you'll get an empty pizza box. Yeah, with maybe some crumbs, you know? Maybe the little crumbs, the little tiny little uh, millimeter crumbs you can get and eat. You'll be satisfied with that, right? That's what it is. All right, guys, uh, I think this video has been important. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to deliver as much as I can to you guys, but that is the current state of our world right now. That's what's happening, not just in this country. That's what's happening everywhere. It's just the central bankers, okay? It's the central banks. They're owning and buying everything. They're leaving you with nothing but crumbs. The people are becoming more and more desperate. They're beginning to revolt. Uh, so things are gonna get wild okay things are gonna get very very wild they're, they're going to become even more uncertain because every day every week every month you're getting news that's unprecedented everything that's, ha that's happening every single week is unprecedented we're literally making history every day now yesterday was historic and today's gonna be historic then the next week's gonna be historic everything that's happening is history in the making 2020 is gonna be global it's gonna be biblical it's gonna be epic it's gonna be legendary it's gonna be a global universal cosmic explosion and it's going to spin your heads faster than an owl does okay so i want you guys to be ready because that's what's happening and one thing you guys have to do is you guys have to be aware okay be aware of your surroundings be aware of everything that's happening because things are changing like that they're changing like I can't snap as good as I used to, man. I don't know what's happening to me these days. But the things are changing like that, okay? So things are happening. Things are transpiring rapidly. Things are just going... It's, it's like you're living light speed right now. That's how much things are shifting and they're changing and they're alternating. So just be aware of this. Be aware of everything that's happening. You guys take care. Be safe.